This is Math Mountain's Multiply and Divide by Top Class Apps. When the app first opens, there are two options, Explore and Practice. In Explore mode, you need to enter numbers in the three circles to correctly complete a Math Mountain. I'll enter a number in the lower left first, and then the lower right. And to complete this Math Mountain correctly, I need to enter a number in the top that is the answer I get when I take 4 times 6. If I've done it correct, the circles will turn green. What you want to point out to students here is the relationship between the numbers and the operations. 24 divided by 4 equals 6. 24 divided by 6 equals 4. 4 times 6 is 24, and 6 times 4 is 24. If you want to reset the mountain, you just click the button in the upper right-hand corner. In practice mode, the first thing you need to do is select the focus facts you want to work on. So I'll do 3, 4, and 5, then specify the number of problems you want to do, and then decide if you want to have the timer on or off. In practice mode, two of the circles are filled in, and you need to fill in the third. Again, if the circles are green, you've done it correct. So 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. 4 divided by 1 is equals 4. And if you've done it cor incorrectly, I'll show you what that looks like, the circles will turn red. Once you've completed all of your practice problems, the result screen will show you the focus facts you were working on, your score, and if you have the timer on, you'll see your time listed there as well. You can return to the home screen. You can, re you can do this same set of practice problems again, or you can go back to the manage screen and change your focus facts, the number of problems, and the timer option. That's Math Mountain's Multiply and Divide.